What is up guys and welcome back to some more VGC 2019 with the Dialga Evelta team and I don't have any new team for this week. Uh, I've been spending a lot more time trying to get my um, my Ultra Spooky Cup team ready. So pretty much just going to have to stick with this team until I, <laughs> until I come up with some ideas for my next team. But overall, I've been liking this team. I was doing some battles off screen and I got to about a 1680. The closest I've ever gotten to, uh, the closest I've ever been to 1700 so far in the 2019 ladder. But then I ended up just dropping back down. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm surprised of, you know, I'm surprised how well this team has been performing. Electivire, Electivire really just, I think Electivire would have been a lot more useful back when Choice Scarf Kyogre was a lot more common. But now I'm not really seeing many Choice Scarf Kyogres. It's, it looks like a lot of people are starting to run, um, what the heck, why is it taking forever to find someone? It, it looks like a lot of people are starting to run um, Choice Specs Kyogre. So they're not really running Choice Scarf. Okay, here we go. But this guy's got the... He's got the Kyogre team. He's got the Kyogre team. That could be Troy Scarf. And then he's got Lunala and Cartana. Actually, this team is really annoying because Lunala can have Trick Room or Cartana can have Tailwind or both. They can have both, actually. So let's see, have you seen my team? What do you want to lead off with? You could just go straight up Ludicolo and Kyogre. I don't see why not. Because I would like to kind of go Electivire and Milotic in case, in case he leads off with the, um, he leads off with the uh, Incineroar. But what are the chances of him doing that? And if I bring Electivire and, and, and then Milotic, what else do I bring? Do I bring uh, Dialga and Ivelta? Because you see that I have Ferrothorn. So you bring Kyogre, you bring Lunala. You see that I have my Lotic, so you bring Ludicolo and Incineroar? Would those be your four? I kind of want to do it. I want to show off Electivire, damn it. I'm going to do it. I'm going Electivire. I'm going to go my Lotic. Uh, damn, I kind of actually want to bring Tapu Lele too, in case he does bring Incineroar and then goes for Fake Out. Nah. Dialga and Ivelta. I mean, the reason why I like going with Lele too is Lele is a good way to figure out whether or not this Kyogre is Choice Scarf. Because there are times where I lead off Electivire and they lead off with Kyogre and they straight up switch out. And it's because they're not Choice Scarf. Okay, so they're... Oh, Tapu, Tapu Coco and Lunala. Tapu Coco and Lunala. So is Kyogre and Ludicolo in the back? Yeah, this is not a good lead for me. I could protect my Lodic and go for Wild Charge into the um, the Coco. Kind of want to do that. Yeah, not a very good lead for me. Okay, it does just about half because of the uh, because of the terrain. Okay, he's going. Yeah, he has Kyogre, and he's going for Tailwind. My man is relying on the Thunder. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, I want Wild Charge, and let's switch on to Dialga. Wow, so he does have Tailwind, and he's rocking the Thunder on the top of Coco. I'm going to switch out because chances are he's still going to connect even though he doesn't have Kyogre on the field. Told you! What did I say? What did I say, dude? They never miss on me. I'm going to get paralyzed. 
And that's actually gonna knock me out. Oh my god, we survived, thank god. Okay, we got rid of the biggest threat for, um... The crit didn't matter. Telling you, dude, they never miss! They never miss! Are you serious right now? There's no rain and he's still connected to Thunder. Cortana. Damn. All right, so we switch out here, bring in my good old buddy, Eveltal, and we protect Dialga. Because I have Fire Punch. I have Fire Punch, so that means you have Kyogre in the back now, then. I do have Fire Punch on Electivire. That Lunala is going to be a pain, man. It is going to be a pain. Alright, I'm going to go for Tailwind. Because how many, how many turns do you have left of Tailwind yourself? This is your last turn of Tailwind, so... Um, Tailwind. And I'm switching out into... My Lodic. That's got to be Sash Cartana, too. I need Electivire for that Kyogre, because I know you have Kyogre, bro. Man, it would have been so cool if that Thunder missed. So you don't have Incineroar. That's a crit? Okay, there's no... Did you double up into that slot? Why would you double up into that slot? Okay, he's still going for... Oh my god. Just, just get the Tailwind up. Just get the Tailwind up. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna knock off the Lunala. And I'm gonna Icy Wind. He's not protecting anything. My man just doesn't care. And now we broke Lunala's uh, shield thingy. I don't know what the ability is called. And I'm pretty sure you have Kyogre. Kyogre is out there. Live it! Oh my god, thank you. Show me Kyogre. Show me Kyogre. To be honest, I don't care about Kyogre. I I want to focus on that Kartana. For some reason, he's not protecting. He didn't protect... Well, he probably... Unless that's a Salt Vest. Alright, so let's go for Knockoff into the Kartana. And let's go for another Icy Wind. Yeah, he's not protecting. That's got to be Choice Scarf. Or it could be Choice Beck since we saw Tailwind. Even if it was Choice Scarf, Electivire outspeeds. I just need to get rid of the Cortana. Assault this? Sash? It was Choice Banded! And there's a Thunder into my, uh, my Lodic. Alright, so now we get to see how much is Electivire's Wild Charge going to do to a Kyogre. As long as my opponent doesn't forfeit, please don't forfeit. I want to see this. Electivire just doesn't have a very good attack. I think it's like 123. That's pretty damn weak. Please don't forfeit. I want to see this out. Damn it. So that was a choice banded Kartana. No wonder he kept going for um, uh, Sacred Sword. And no wonder the Sacred Sword did so much damage to my... Uh, to my my loading, wow. Mm. 
<laughs> Choice Bandit Cartana. I have, I've seen Assault Vest a couple of times, but pretty much it's always just Focus Ash. That's what I would run too, Focus Ash. And here we go. Someone from Japan with the 1753 rating, and they're probably bringing in the Sagalio um, Xerneas with Toxicroak. Cartana again, Tapu Koko again, and then another Incineroar. You literally have nothing for my... Well, your Sagalio could have Flare Blitz. Sagalio Xerneas. Do you... Do you bring, um... I mean, you have to bring Incineroar, bro. You have to bring Incineroar. You have to bring Incineroar, right? Okay, I kind of want to go top of Lele. I kind of like Tapu Lele and Dialga here. Where I could go Ivelta to try and get up a, a Tailwind. Yeah, if, we, if he leads off with Tapu Koko, it doesn't matter. And then we bring in Dialga. Uh, do I bring Electivire? Do I need Electivire? Kind of don't. I need Ferrothorn though. He could just go straight up Xerneas and uh, Incineroar, which I'm okay with. Because I can just uh, taunt the Xerneas and go for like a uh, Draco into the Incineroar. Okay, Xerneas, Toxicroak, still same thing. I can. Uh, I can still taunt these Xerneas. Oh no, I didn't lead off Dialga. What am I talking about? To be honest, he probably won't even go for Geomancy here. True, true. He probably won't even go for Geomancy. He could go. He could go fake out into into Evelta and go for a uh, a Moonblast. That would really suck, actually. I kind of want to switch out to Ferrothorn. Yeah, I'm going to taunt and switch out to Ferrothorn. Toxic Croak is going to protect. That's max speed. Xerneas. That's a max speed Xerneas. What the heck? Alright, I am going to Psyshock the Toxicroak and I'm going to Leech Seed the Xerneas because it's probably going to switch out into Incineroar right here. What the heck? Is that... Yeah, that's max speed Xerneas. Is that Specs, maybe? Because I'm timid max speed Lele. So I could have gone for a Tailwind. Unless that is Spec Xerneas and that actually knocks out. I think that knocks out Evelta. You have to switch out, yeah. That's going to be Incineroar though. Sigalio, okay. You could have Flare Blitz though. Your Sash. That's cool. We can bring out Evelta. Yeah, you're gonna take out Lele. Uh, I'm okay with that. We can we can bring out Evelta and we can go for a Tailwind. Yay! I love this game. I love this game. I mi I missed the Leech Seed. My opponent in the previous uh, battle can connect a uh, what's it called? Can connect uh, a Thunder with no Rain up. But I, I can't connect the Leech Seed. 
Let's see, Tetwin. All right, and remind me again, what is the accuracy for Leech Seed? 90 accuracy, look at that. Okay, so uh, Tetwin, let's switch out into Dialga. Show me Incineroar, because I know you have the damn thing back there. I know you have it back there, bro. There's no way you did not bring Incineroar. There it is. And are you just going to leave Sigalia there to take a knockoff? If I was going for knockoff? Or did you protect the Sigalia? Yep. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to switch out Ivelta. Let's bring in Ferrothorn. And I'm going to just straight up Draco the Incineroar. Following turn, I got to switch Dialga back out. But if I can get rid of that Incineroar, Ferrothorn is looking really, really good right now. Unless that Sigalio does have Flare Blitz. Okay, he didn't even go for Fake Out. This is Modest. Life Orb. Yeah. That's Assault Vest or Berry? Berry. Oh yeah, you have superpower. So we just lost Dialga. And going for U-turn. Very interesting. I keep forgetting that Sigalio can have superpower. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, so you switch out Xerneas again? I don't see why not. Oh, can't go into Lele. Damn, dude. I mean, at least he didn't matter, but it would have been nice to get a little bit of chip on that Sigalio. He could also just switch out the Sigalio and bring in. Incineroar in that slot. But I'm going to go knock off into Sigalio and I'm going to Leech Seed the Xerneas. Yep. Damn. Should have gone for the gyro ball. And he went for Moonblast too. That's GG. Okay, now we connect the lead seed. I, I, is that Specs? That's gotta be Specs then. Yeah, Xerneas is just a problem for me. Because the only thing I have is Ferrothorn, but pretty much every time you run into a Xerneas team, they're most likely going to have Incineroar. And I lost Dialga, and Dialga just is... Dialga's life or modest Draco still isn't even enough to knock out an Incineroar. That wasn't even a Salt Vest either. That wasn't even an Assault Vest Incineroar. And I can't believe that that Superpower was actually an was actually able to one-shot my Dialga. Non-stab. Wait, no, no, no. I was thinking it was Choice Bandit, but I forgot that Sigalio protected. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.